since day one we decided not to stick to a specific genre or play around with set of sounds that we are already familiar with. Instead of, uh, instead of that we focus on our mood, our emotions and our honest expression and combine that with uh, improvisation, I think that creates the unique sound which is Orange Mango. Local uh, in its identity, it's a singular medium uh, rock music band. So that in itself is a sort of a new genre because uh, we wish to do our music in Sinhala and it's original and it's rock and roll. So improvisation is a huge part of our creative process which is true for our lyrics as well. Uh, so when it comes to our lyrics we talk about everyday mundane things that usually go unnoticed that no one really talks about in their music. Uh, but we make it a point to talk about those things. These can be our personal narrations or external, uh, external things or stories or events that can affect us. And uh, we try to embrace it, we try to internalize it as honest as possible and try to incorporate into our music as much as we can. Uh, we are mostly influenced by our surroundings, so all the themes and topics are basically things we encounter and uh, see and hear. So everything is very uh, local, so that's why we are local. Yeah, so we have a song called Bao Bao Bao, uh, which is a song about a little kid full of joy, full of love. Uh, this kid sees an abandoned stray dog, stray puppy on the road and uh, this kid wants to bring the puppy home. But the mom doesn't like it, or the parents don't like it. The song is uh, pretty much about that, about that experience. Uh, and another song is called uh, Happy Hungry Nation, which is uh, a happy nation but uh, full of hungry people. One of the songs that I can recall that represent us is the song Ratakethi uh, because uh, that was written in a time where the country was uh, going through a real bad patch and uh, that basically explains uh, the human experience living in an island like this and uh, what a person has to go through. So I think uh, the song Ratakethi, the lyrics goes Ratakethi uh, hilakweni, kandakweni hisaknethi Mini smaller barak neti, bohomaya kharak veti. So I think that pretty much uh, in nutshell explains what Sri Lanka is. The five of us have been playing music uh, for the longest time, but we had never played music together as a collective. So this was a great opportunity for us to bring our inspirations together, our stories together, and create some music together and see where the music would take us. Back in 2015, uh, we wanted to start a band and we want to sort of, uh, like when we looked around, a lot of the rock music out there was not real rock and roll. Uh, so we sort of wanted to create uh, some original, authentic rock and roll, which had the spirit of rock and roll. So that's why uh, we came up with the concept local and we created this band and this music. There's no uh, story, to be honest. We just, uh, we were lined up for a gig. We were lined up for an event, but we didn't have a name for the band. Uh, no one had any idea as to what we should be called or anything as such. Uh, I just came out this, came up with these two uh, words, Orange Mango, and then it just stuck with us. <laughs> the name, uh, I think it was Helena who came up with the name. So at, uh, several levels, so local basically re sort of refer to the local uh, that we love to smoke and then in, in another sense it sort of means that this is uh, very localized music that uh, it belongs to uh, the, the island and the surrounding that we live in. I guess this is the whole idea of Orange Mango because five of us, we come from different backgrounds, with different stories, with different influences. Uh, so the whole idea of Orange Mango is to find a, find a focal point where we can uh, blend all these uh, styles 
and influences together so that so that we can create a unique sound all together. Yeah, I think uh, three members in local come from three different backgrounds. So each of us are influencing uh, different ways. But uh, when we take a song to the studio and start working on it, on it so all three of us uh, sort of contribute to it for it to become a sort of a local song. So, so based on our uh, past experiences and our influences, uh, different different uh, styles and genres come into play. So, so that's why local music is very unique. It's basically represent uh, the three of us. By three of us, I mean Greg, Tilner and myself. Being able to play alongside with some of the best Sri Lankan contemporary alternative musicians, I think that's a memory we will always cherish for the rest of our lives. I think uh, every gig uh, is an unforgettable experience and uh, if you speak to the two other members in the band, they might have a different unforgettable experience. Uh, but for me, I remember once we played at a place called Tapra Bay and uh, I was so high. And at the end of the gig, uh, Thilna came up to me and said, uh, Machang, you didn't play the solo for Taruke. And that's when I realized uh, I actually didn't play the solo for Taruke and I, I saw, accidentally saw the videos and I realized that I was uh, too high. I just went through the song without playing the solo. Harmony and diversity celebrating Sri Lankan original music. This has been themed for Orange Mango events for, since the day one. Uh, we make sure to feature some of Sri Lanka's finest contemporary alternative musicians at our events to play alongside us, to support us uh, at these events. And we make it a point to shed some spotlight on these musicians and make sure that they get much needed recognition that they deserve. So it's going to be one hell of an event and one unique event mainly because of the three acts that, that are going to perform on that particular day. So we have Amila Sandruvan with his uh, original uh, music, uh, sort of, I think he's bringing some of the traditional uh, Sri Lankan rhythms uh, mixed with some of the, the, the new uh, rhythms. And then we have Orange Mango, which is a total unique sound. And I have never heard another band that has that sound. And then you have Local, which is basically uh, rock and roll but in a uh, local way. So, so it's going to be uh, one hell of a creative gig and something that you don't want to miss. Go on social media, type Orange Mango Band, you will find us. So you can uh, find us in uh, all of the major social media platforms. We are there on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. And uh, our uh, debut album, which we released in 2016, you can find it in Apple Music or Spotify and all the rest of the platform.